We are live with another edition of NXT, the most exciting hour on television. And tonight, it is the final stop before NXT Heatwave this Sunday. Last week on NXT, Triple H announced the return of the Cruiserweight division. And Ricochet was able to advance to the next round after he was able to defeat Danny Burch, while Brian Kendrick defeated Grand Matalik. Tonight, Axiom is set for action in this tournament. And he goes one-on-one -on -one with Chad Gable from Monday Night Raw. And his opponent, accompanied by Otis, representing the Alpha Academy from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds, Chad Gable. Of course, wherever Chad Gable goes, Otis is not far behind. Triple H made it official that the Cruiserweight division here on NXT is open to all competitors from Raw and SmackDown as long as they are a cruiserweight. So Chad Gable making a, an appearance here tonight on NXT to compete in the WWE Cruiserweight Championship Tournament. It is all about that championship. As there's the bell, we are underway. Gable and Axiom one on one. And Gable already using his technical expertise as he targets the leg of Axiom. And that is smart, trying to eliminate the high flying ability of Axiom. And Axiom with a big kick. I think he caught Gable right in the arm. Axiom continuing to hold in on the arm of Chad Gable. Elbow to the spine as well, and now Axiom delivering a big kick right to the back of Chad Gable. Chad Gable, of course, a former Olympian. Right now, though, Axiom in control. Gable trying to switch it around, and he does. Big rolling elbow. Oh, and Axiom just got dropped. Right on his head. Here's the cover by Gable, and a kick out that one. Still early days in this contest, as Gable delivers a big knee. Knee right to the skull of Axiom, and now, there's another one to the arm. Chad Gable. Trying to shut the WWE Universe up, but Axiom trying to capitalize and a kick out. The WWE Universe getting underneath the skin there of Chad Gable. And Axiom was able to take advantage. Big knee in the corner. And now Axiom putting a boot wet to the jaw of Gable. Axiom in control. Standing corkscrew sent on. Will it be enough to advance to the next round in this tournament? No, just a one count. Axiom though, no wasted motion, heading up to the middle rope. And Axiom, oh! No water in the pool there. Chad Gable follows up 
Fisherman suplex for the bridge. Shoulders down, kick out at one. Now Axiom is picked back up to a vertical base. Chad Gable with a side belly to belly suplex. Cover again, and another kick out at one by Axiom. These two are going to do whatever it takes here tonight to advance to the next round of the WWE Cruiserweight Championship Tournament. Cruiserweight division is back here on NXT. And Axiom with a close line in the corner there. Tornado DDT follows it up. And Axiom could be closing in on the victory. Elbow right to the skull of Gable. And here's the cover, shoulders down. And Gable gets his shoulder up at one. And now Axiom out of the corner. Arm drag, kip up, and a drop kick right to the chest. The speed and quickness on display there by Axiom has waited a minute. Otis provided a distraction there for the former Olympian. And Gable off the knee. Looking to advance in this tournament. Kick out at two. Gable getting one step closer to advancing to the next round in this tournament. A tournament to crown a cruiserweight champion here on NXT. And Gable turns the tables on Axiom and Axiom. Colliding Gable's skull into the turnbuckle big kick in the corner. And wait a minute, Otis is throwing a steel chair into the ring. Meanwhile, Axiom went for the moonsault. Gable to the knees up. Stalemate now here in this contest. There's a kick to the midsection of Chad Gable. And here comes the high flyer, Axiom. But Chad Gable turns the tables. Provort suplex. Can Axiom get back into this contest? Gable in control as NXT rolls on. We are back here on NXT as the WWE Cruiserweight Championship Tournament continues with Chad Gable versus Axiom. And right now Gable's in control, but Axiom rolls through. And Axiom spots Gable. Big time DDT. And Axiom's gonna follow up, ordering that and a kick to the midsection. Gable picked back up to his feet, and Axiom utilizing his speed and quickness as he applies the armbar. Armbar looked in here on Chad Gable. What is Gable going to do? Will he submit? Will he tap? Gable able to roll through. The matchup continues as now Gable hooks the arms of Axiom, and Axiom lands on his feet. Springboard Tornado DDT. Axiom into the cover to advance in this tournament. Kick out by Gable. I thought for a moment that Axiom may have had the match up one. But now Axiom in position. Lining up Gable. He went for the golden ratio. Gable caught him with the elbow. And now Gable looking for a suplex. Connects. And Gable rolls through. There's a second suplex. And now looking for the trifecta. And he delivers all three. Three suplexes by Chad Gable. Can he capitalize? Can he follow up here? Gable ascends the turnbuckle. What does Gable have in mind? Oh, big elbow. Right to the chest for Maxium. For the victory. For the win. And a kick out. Axiom really showcasing his resilience. And wait a second. Trying to catch Gable by surprise here. But it'll only lead to a two count. Just a two count there for Axiom as he misses wildly. And Chad Gable's got Axiom set up on the top turnbuckle. And this can't be good news for the high flyer from Madrid, Spain. Gable looking perhaps for a superplex. Axiom trying to fight it. And Gable takes a tumble off the top right. Axiom, moonsault. Cover to advance 
Oh, another near fall in this match. What an unbelievable contest between Chad Gable and Axiom. And Axiom goes right back to the arm. There's a back elbow though to the midsection. And Chad Gable rolls through. As now he switches focus to the leg. Gable now going off to the leg of Axiom. Trying to weaken it for the ankle lock, no doubt. Axiom is in a world of hurt right now. Gable could be closing in, but there's a knee wet to the midsection. And Axiom with a flurry here of offense. Gable sent into the corner. Back elbow finds its mark. Axiom is dazed, but there's a draw breaker. Great reversal. And off that striking combination, Axiom utilizing his speed and quickness. He's replied the arm ball. Axiom with the arm ball for a second time in this match. Can Chad Gable withstand the pain? Can he fight through it? Yes, he can. Separation made. And now Gable to the midsection. Lot the heat scroll cradle. Shoulders down here on Axiom. Chad Gable for the win. No. He almost had him. Chad Gable, though, remaining in control. Hammerlock now applied. WWE Universe firmly behind Axiom as the high flyer battles back. Went for the close one. Caught the German suplex instead. Axiom landed hard on his neck. And now Chad Gable to capitalize. Big splash from the top. Cover on Axiom. And another near fall. Axiom able to kick out. Able to remain in this contest. And now Gable looking for the ankle lock. Axiom with a DDT. And now Axiom backing up into the corner. He's measuring Chad Gable. Axiom with the golden ratio for the victory. Axiom to advance, and he does. Axiom advances. Here is your winner, Axiom. Congratulations to the high flyer from Madrid, Spain. Axiom advances to the next round in the WWE Cruiserweight Championship Tournament. At NXT Great American Bash, I fell short in the NXT Women's Title match. I gave it everything I had, but Raquel Rodriguez was simply better on that night. Though I am disappointed I came up short, I'd like to introduce you all to a woman I helped get their foot in the door here in NXT. A woman that will be making her in-ring debut tonight, my best friend, Roxanne Perez. Thank you, Cora. I am excited to be here in NXT, and I am ready to prove my worth. Roxanne Perez makes her in-ring debut tonight on NXT, but also in our main event. The NXT champion Ilya Dragunov will take on one of the men that he defends the NXT title against on Sunday in Apollo Crews. As the investigation as to who attacked Isaiah Swerve Scott continues, I'm standing by with the man himself, Isaiah, did you see anything when you were attacked? Oh yes, I saw exactly who attacked me. And I want to be clear, it was not Timothy Thatcher. It wasn't just one man. It was none other than the NXT Tag Team Champions, Legado Del Fantasma. Now I'm still not clear to compete until next Tuesday, but I do have some friends that have got my back. And they will meet Legado in the ring this Sunday at NXT Heatwave. Well, I cannot believe that. That is a plot twist that I did not see coming. Legado Del Fantasma attacked Isaiah Swerve Scott. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from England. Weighing in at 174 pounds. 
It's time for another matchup in the WWE Cruiserweight Championship Tournament as Nathan Frazier is set for action against a mystery superstar. Who is Nathan Frazier up against here tonight in this tournament matchup? Let's find out. Oh my goodness. None other than the king of the Cruiserweights. It's Neville! And his opponent from Newcastle upon Tyne, England, weighing in at 212 pounds, Neville! Neville is back! And what a return it is for the king of the cruiserweights! And the king is looking for his crown, the WWE Cruiserweight Championship! A title of which it could be argued that Neville made what it is. Neville kept that Cruiserweight Championship around his waist like Gollum and the ring. And he is looking to recapture it in this tournament. Neville is back. He goes one-on-one -on -one with Nathan Frazier in the WWE Cruiserweight Championship Tournament right now here on NXT. And the NXT Universe on their feet for the appearance of Neville. There's the bell, we are now underway as Neville returns to NXT. And Nathan Frazier went for the dropkick, Neville though. Look at the strikes. Oh, kick right to the chest. And a kip up. Neville went for the shooting star. Frazier caught him with the knee. And now here comes Nathan Frazier, but Neville caught the leg. And there's a beautiful drop kick by Neville. And there's the standing shooting star to follow. Coming out. And a quick kick out by Frazier. Oh, what a kick. Right to the back of Nathan Frazier. And look at the strength here of Neville. Launching Frazier across the ring with ease. There is only one thing that matters to the former Cruiserweight Champion Neville. And that is the Cruiserweight Championship. It's what a kick there in the corner that was. Now Neville getting Frazier back up to his feet. Frazier though, able to counter. And now it's Frazier with a kick of his own, dazing Neville. And Neville's all tied up here. Here comes Frazier with a drop kick. Right to the chest. Frazier looking at advance in the tournament, but Neville will kick out at one. Going to take a lot more than that to put down the king of the cruiserweights. Oh, what an insecurity. Nathan Frazier is dazed. He's confused. And now Neville going off the leg. Oh, there's a kick right to the midsection. And again, Neville lifting up Nathan Frazier. And Frazier sent into the turnbuckle. Oh, Moonsault off the middle rope. And Neville is fired up. Off the ropes. Neville went for the super kick. Nathan Frazier able to reverse. But Neville, oh my god. The speed and quickness of Neville is unparalleled. Big elbow. And it may just be a matter of time now before Neville puts things to bed. Snap German suplex. Oh, knee wet to the skull now. And Nathan Frazier may not have a clue where he's at. Neville just having his way with Nathan Frazier. Oh, Frazier though, caught Neville with a boot to the face. 
And now out of the corner. Arm drag, kip up. And there's a drop kick. Nathan Frazier beginning his comeback, but Neville with a small package. Shoulders down here on Nathan Frazier for a two count. And now the king of the cruiserweights lining up Nathan Frazier. Oh, but there's a collision and Frazier capitalizes. Springboard knee strike. Caught Neville in the skull. And now Frazier's in position. He went for the super kick, but Neville with one of his own. Super kick by Neville, and now the brutalizer is locked in. The brutalizer by Neville. Nathan Frazier trying to fight it, but he has to submit. Dominance on display by Neville. Neville advances to the next round in the WWE Cruiserweight Championship Tournament. And wait a second. Frazier offering out his hand and Neville accepts. Show of respect here tonight between these two men. That is what you want to see as Neville celebrates his victory tonight. What a return. Welcome back everyone to NXT. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, accompanied by Cora From Laredo, Texas, Roxanne Perez. Roxanne Perez set to make her in-ring debut tonight here on NXT. And it was thanks to Cora Jade, Roxanne's best friend, that she is here in WWE. Cora Jade gave the suggestion to WWE management. They have signed Roxanne Perez to a contract. Let's see what she can make of this. Her career starts tonight. Representing Toxic Attraction from Atlanta, Georgia, Gigi Dolan. Gigi Dolan representing Toxic Attraction. She is set to go one on one with the debuting Roxanne Perez. We, of course, know the struggles that Cora Jade has gone through thanks to Toxic Attraction, or more specifically, Mandy Rose. Rose was the reason why the NXT Women's title match between Raquel Rodriguez and Cora Jade got delayed. Mandy Rose attacked Cora Jade before that match and stole her spot. Cora Jade, of course, did get her opportunity in capturing the NXT Women's title but was unsuccessful at NXT Great American Bash. Tonight she is out here to support her best friend in Roxanne Perez. Let's see what Roxanne can bring to the table as there's the bell, we are now underway. And Roxanne went right off the knee. Gigi Dolan though able to sidestep and now look at these kicks right to the face of Roxanne Perez. Now Perez with a jaw break up. Dazing Gigi Dolan for the moment. And oh, face first goes Dolan. And again. Roxanne Perez gaining the upper hand in the early stages of this matchup. Big forearm. Went for the close line. Gigi Dolan out of the way. And there's a headbutt. The skulls collide. And oh, Roxanne went for the drop kick, got caught. Stomp right to the midsection by Gigi Dolan. And now Dolan targets the arm. Oh! Stomp to the midsection, and there's a knee went to the spine. Dolan now in control of this matchup. 
Here comes some more kicks. Right to the skull. Cora Jade looking on with a concerned look on her face. A stolen now sends Cora into the corner and what a boot. Boot to the face of Perez. Here's the first cover and a kick out at one. Dolan almost putting the lights out there of Roxanne. Elbow to the spine. Look at the arrogance of Gigi Dolan as Perez saw an opening. Dolan just got tripped up. And now Roxanne Perez went for the full on. Dolan blocked it. Nobody home there for the kick. And now Perez with a net breaker. Floats over on top. Cover and a kick out. Oh, handstand elbow drop. Nice move there by Perez. Here's the cover. And a kick out at one by Dolan. Perez looking for the full one once again. GG Dolan one step ahead. Snapman take down and there's a kick right to the spine. Dolan in control as NXT rolls on live. We are back here on NXT Women's Division action underway as GG Dolan takes on the debuting Roxanne Perez, the best friend of Cora J. Right now Dolan in control, but look at Perez. Able to break free. Perez creating separation out of the guillotine. And now here comes Perez, firing back. Dolan sent into the corner. And Roxanne Perez now. Caught Dolan, hits as a takedown. NXT Universe firmly behind Perez, but wait a second, Gigi Dolan with a pinning predicament here on Roxanne for a two count. Gigi Dolan almost stole one. And now there's a big shot to the chest. Roxanne Perez with a forearm and a chop of her own. Oh, what a knee. Knee right to the skull. And now Perez up to the middle rope. Perez is about to fly. Roxanne Perez, oh. Right to the midsection went Gigi Dolan. And there's a pump kick. And will that be enough to put down Roxanne Perez? No. Perez is still alive in this matchup. This is her in-ring debut tonight. As here comes Perez. Trying to build momentum. Perez rolls through. Kick right to the back of the head. And now from behind, Gigi Dolan just got planted. Double knees to the midsection. And Perez follows up. Here's the cover. Roxanne Perez looking for a successful in-ring debut. But she only gets a two count. Gigi Dolan able to stay alive in this matchup. And now Perez looking for a kick. Dolan with a knee. And a drop kick. Takes down Perez. Roxanne Perez though back to her feet. She manages to evade GG Dolan. And now Dolan gets sent back into the corner hole. Dolan though this time able to evade. Reversal by Roxanne Perez. Big DDT. Dolan just got spiked. Roxanne hooks the outside leg for the victory and another kick out. Another kick out at two. And now look at this. Gigi Dolan rolling to the outside. Uh oh. Perez got caught. Power bomb on the outside of the ring. And that could be the turning point. As Perez is sent back into the ring. Gigi Dolan in hot pursuit. And Dolan looking to end this. But Roxanne rolls through. Drop toe hold. And now Roxanne with a series of forearms. There goes Dolan. 
And now, Roxanne Perez comes off the ropes, and there's a wrecking ball drop kick. Perez wipes out Dolan. And Gigi Dolan sent back into the ring. Can Roxanne Perez follow up? Oh, taking a page out of Corner's playbook. The sent on off the top. Will it be enough? No. What a match. And now Perez again looking for that drop kick. Catches a boot to the midsection. And now Roxanne sent off the ropes. Gigi Dolan launches her into the air. My goodness. Half and half suplex. That could be it. Come on. Shoulders down. Only gets a two count, does Dolan. Roxanne Perez is not going down. She continues to fight here this evening, but there's a knee. Right to the chest. Come on. That could be all she wrote. But again, Perez raises the shoulder. Roxanne Perez trying to catch Gigi Dolan by surprise. Shoulders down here. Oh, my goodness. And now Perez lining up Dolan. Kick to the midsection. Oh, and she calls that pop rocks. Come on, on Dolan. Looks out for race victorious. Here is your winner, Roxanne Perez. And there is a successful in-ring debut for Roxanne Perez. I think this woman has a bright future ahead of her. Hold it right there. I'm holding this damn show up because the NXT Great American Bash, Roderick Strong, cheated. The whole world saw it. What the hell is he talking about? Roderick Strong poked me in the eye to secure his title. He went against the rules, and I deserve a rematch right now. Do you hear me, Hunter? I want a rematch now. What the hell is Cameron Grimes talking about? Oh my god. Holla if you hear him. There is Brom Breaker. The son of Rick Steiner. Brom Breaker is here on NXT. And I think he's about to shut Cameron Grimes' mouth. I have no idea what Grimes is going on about. Roderick Strong retained his title fair and square. I've been asked to come out here to put a stop to this nonsensical tirade. Nonsensical? Everyone saw it. You know what? You may be the son of Rick Steiner, and you may be called a dog-faced gremlin, but to me, you ain't a dog. You're a bitch. Oh my god. Grimes better watch his mouth. Braun Breaker lifting Grimes into the air. Look at the power. Oh! High impact delivered. And Cameron Grimes just got his mouth shut by Braun Breaker. And now we can resume with our regularly scheduled broadcast. Braun Breaker dumping. Cameron Grimes to the outside. Thanks for coming. Welcome back everyone to NXT. And with Cameron Grimes taken care of, we can now continue with tonight's proceedings. There is Apollo Crews set for action. It's time for the main event. Weighing in at 
Well, this Sunday, it is NXT Heat Wave, and Ilya Dragunov will defend the NXT Championship in a triple threat match against Apollo Crews and Adam Cole. Ilya Dragunov may have made a crucial mistake last week when he decided to take on both Apollo Crews and Adam Cole in a triple threat situation come Sunday. Tonight, though, Apollo Crews is set to go one on one with the NXT champion, Ilya Dragunov. What a main event this is sure to be. A slight preview for what's to come this Sunday at NXT Heatway. And his opponent from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 187 pounds, the NXT Champion. Ilya Dragunov has been NXT Champion for 56 days. Will this Sunday at NXT Heat Wave mark the end of that title reign? Remember on Sunday, if Ilya Dragunov isn't pinned and somebody else is, he will still lose the NXT Championship. Ilya Dragunov does not have to be pinned or submitted to lose his title at NXT Heatway. He wanted the triple threat match, and he will get it this Sunday. A true test for the mad Russian this Sunday. But tonight, Ilya Dragunov is set to face one of the men that he will defend the NXT Championship against on Sunday in Apollo Crews. This is our main event of the evening here on NXT. And what a match it is going to be. There's the bell. We are underway. And Dragunov out of the gate trips off Apollo. And oh, Cruz went with a big boot. Ilya Dragunov was able to duck underneath. And oh, he faked it out. He just faked out Cruz with a DDT. And Cruz will quickly get his shoulder up. Now Dragunov right to the midsection. Apollo Cruz fires back. Big forearms. Hit to the gut by Dragunov. And look at these two men jockeying for position as we get underway here at our main event. These two fan favorite superstars are battling it out early on in this matchup. What a lariat. Ilya Dragunov hooks the leg. And Cruz again raises the shoulder. Oh, big knee. Right to the back of the skull. And there's another knee strike by Dragunov. Ilya Dragunov is fired up here tonight. But let's be honest, when isn't he? As again to the midsection goes the NXT champion. On trap suplex. And now Dragunov backing up into the corner. And oh, Cruz back up to his feet. Big close line by Dragunov. Apollo Cruz just got wiped out. Big chop now to the chest of Cruz with one of his own. Here comes Apollo Cruz. the strength lifting up dragon on with ease power bomb will it be enough no just a one count and dragon off went right to the leg dragon off tripping up cruise and now he applies the hill hook submission but even locked in here by Ilya dragon and can apollo cruise fight out boots right to the face and that will create separation Cruz with some more forearms as he tries to back Dragunov into the corner. And now Ilya Dragunov going to be driven into the turnbuckle by Apollo Cruz. And look at the strength on display here. 
Cruz went for the Inzaguri. Dragunov made with a side step. And look at these strikes from Ilya Dragunov. The NXT champion is rolling. He went for the Lariat Cruz caught him in the neck breaker. Cruz off the neck breaker. He's fired up now. And what a matchup this has been thus far. More forearms by Apollo Cruz. Dragging him up against the ropes, and he gets sent up and over. Apollo is rolling. Can the NXT champion bounce back here tonight? We are back here on NXT. This is our main event of the evening as the NXT champion Ilya Dragunov takes on one of the men that he will defend the NXT title against this Sunday in Apollo Crews. And right now Dragunov is in control, but Crews fights out of the submission. Crews fighting out of the crossface. And here comes Apollo. Dragunov over the fireman's carry takeover. And now the chops right to the chest. And oh my god, no way! Dragunov showcasing his strength. Belly to belly suplex by Dragunov. And now the NXT champion is in position. Dragunov's going to call for it. Dragunov looking to end it. Torpedo Moscow Cruz able to get out of dodge. And now Cruz hoisting up Dragunov. Look at the strength. Military press slam. Into the standing moonsault. Cruz for the win. And a kick out of two by Dragunov. The NXT champion is still in this. As now Apollo Cruz lines up the champion. Dragunov though. End the counter. Oh, what a knee. Knee went to the skull. Will that be enough to put down Apollo Cruz? Here's the cover. And again. Cruz raises the shoulder in time. And now, Dragunov to the top turnbuckle, sent on. Right across the midsection of Apollo Cruz. Dragunov is fired up. NXT Universe behind him. Oh, what a suplex. Launching Apollo Cruz. And Cruz rolling to the outside. And now he's on the apron. Cruz re enters the ring. And Dragunov was ready for him. And now the battle continues between these two men. Look at this chop exchange. Ball oh, wet to the chest. Cruz with a kick wet to the skull. Shawbreaker by the NXT Champion and Dragunov with the Lariat. Almost decapitating Apollo. Come on. Oh my goodness. Another near fall in this matchup. As now Dragunov went for the senton. Cruz got out of the way. And now here comes Cruz. With a second win here in this matchup. Oh, Dragunov held on to the ropes. Great counter. And now Dragunov back into the hill hook. The hill hook is back in. Center of the ring. Nowhere for Cruz to go. This could be it. But Cruz again went to the face. Cruz able to create some space. And now Dragunov in the corner. But the champion is still fighting. Urinagi in the cover. Dragunov for the victory. No. If you are just joining us, this is our main event of the evening. As the NXT champion Ilya Dragunov goes one on one with Apollo Crews. And these two men are just jockeying for position. They are going back and forth. Who's going to come out of this matchup on top? As Cruz. Oh my god, and the strength of the champion. That was an insane amount of power on display 
by Ilya Dragunov. And now here comes Dragunov, Sydney Cruz to the outside. Dragunov is fired up as the fans are split down the middle with who they want to cheer for. And oh, wait a minute, Adam Cole. Adam Cole causing the disqualification. Are you joking? And now a brawl is breaking out between Apollo Crews and Adam Cole. Oh, Cole sent into the barricade. The NXT champion still in the ring. He is watching this go down, but wait a minute. Dragonov up top. And Dragonov wants out Crews. Chaos is erupting here on NXT. We may need security out here. These three men will be going at it on Sunday for the NXT Championship. Dragunov missed out. Cruz with the Inzaguri. And now Cruz in position. Apollo Cruz blocks the champion. Ilya Dragunov just got plotted. And there he goes. Dragunov gets sent to the outside. And watch your back. Adam Cole's back into the mix. Adam Cole attacking Apollo Crews. The fight continues between all three of these men. The NXT Championship will be on the line this Sunday. When Adam Cole, Apollo Crews, and the champion Ilya Dragunov battle to become the Emperor of NXT. Where is security? Oh, Cruz sent into the barricade. And Adam Cole stands tall. Will this be the scene this Sunday at NXT Heatwave?